Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back again with another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection review. This time featuring issue 40, the USS Enterprise NCC-1701B. Looking forward to this model. But just before I start, um, this week was quite sad for the Star Trek community with the loss of um, a, very, a vital uh, part of that community, uh, Leonard Nimoy, Spock. And again, um, I know it's affected a lot of people out there as well. And again, uh, my family and mine, our thoughts are with his family. And uh, may he rest in peace and live among the stars as he is well entitled to. Live long and prosper, Mr. Nimoy. You will be missed. Now, back to business. Uh, we have the Star Trek Issue 40 Enterprise. I'm looking forward to this model. Have been for a while. Um, there was a few images of this teased on the Facebook pages. And uh, yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see what to make of it. So let's get inside and uh, get outside of this actually wrapping. I know some people are actually not getting them anymore in this. Um, maybe, I, I, I honestly, I don't know why some do, some don't. But again, uh, I'm still a subscriber. Ooh, and I'm knocking my camera. As I would. Oh, I'm in a slightly different area recording here at the moment. Still have to work out the balances of it. So here we have our model. Um, Sizeable. Uh, very comparable to the Excelsior in size. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty okay from the get-go. But let's put that to one side and let's have a look at the magazine. With a great graphic to grab our attention. Very iconic design there. Of the Enterprise B. So let's have a look at what goodies are inside. So here we have the magazine uh, for the Enterprise B issue 40. Excelsior class. Launch 2293. Length 467 meters. She's a big one. Crew complement 502. Two is very important. So here we have the contents. So US Enterprise NCC 1701B. Designing the ship, filming the saucer crash landing. Hmm, what could that be? And on-screen appearances. Uh, instructions on how to mount the ship on the supply stand. And some other key facts. Um, blah, 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 blah. Dex 32, type of weaponry, type 8 phaser arrays, photon torpedo launchers, and uh, John Harriman. But a lot of that stuff wasn't installed uh, until Tuesday. If we are remembering all the movie. Fan Davidozzi graphic here. Um, really nice amount of detail on this ship. Uh, just love, I love the moulding of this ship. And uh, again, a very vital area of the ship, if you remember Generations. After this launch, the USS Enterprise NCC-1701B performed a rescue mission that resulted in the loss of a James Tiberius Kirk. Very sad time in uh, the history of uh, Star Trek. But obviously we did see him again, all thanks to the Nexus. So I won't go into too much detail, no spoilers from me here, bar maybe visual spoilers. Um, nice amount of imagery here from the movie, again encapsulating all the fine angles of uh, the Enterprise B here. And a bit of a data feed about John Harriman. Captain John Harriman was an eager young officer when he took command of the Enterprise B. He was quite young actually, wasn't he? He was so young that he learned about the legendary missions of Captain Kirk on, and his crew while he was still a child at grade school. His youth and inexperience showed when Enterprise B was in, unexpectedly called into action to save the Elorians. He appeared overwhelmed at times and was thankful when Kirk took charge of the situation. Which I thought was pretty... Like, it was good for the story, but I thought he was pretty weak in the movie. Not the actor... But just how he was like, oh my god, what do I do? I'm the captain of the freaking Enterprise. Hello. How did you even get that job? Come on. Ooh, nice L-cars um, display here, which is pretty freaking awesome. Master systems display. So obviously we see that at the back here. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, captain Kirk was messing around with the ice linear chips. Four torpedo launchers were located on deck 15. And so on and so forth. And here we have Sulu. So... It actually highlights all the different um, decks here, which is freaking awesome. I don't think we've seen this in one of the magazines before. 
and real kind of breakdown of the schematics here. Uh, lifeboats, uh, vector exhaust, um, assembly, accelerator coil systems, all that good stuff. Guys, I think you're going to like this. Awesome. And here we have our good old faithful ship profile view here as well. Engineering hull, navigational deflectors, impulse engines, bizarre collectors and all that good stuff. And here we have our good old uh, Sulu's daughter, um, Demora, which is awesome. Let me just change the camera a little bit there. I do apologize. Got a bit out of whack. Um, champagne at launch. We all remember that. Lovely ship. Just love the ship. Great artwork there as well. Again, I wish I was able to draw like that. Really awesome. The Enterprise B had been depicted as an Excelsior class ship sculpted on board the USS Enterprise D. So we didn't have our little ribs here. But I do like that they um, placed them in because I think it added quite a nice touch to the Enterprise B. And again, fantastic amount of destruction on the artist's impressions here. We all know what happened in the actual ship as well. And we had a fantastic um, kind of CG moment where it pulled away to show the guys and just the scale of the ship as well. And here we have filming the saucer crash landing off the Enterprise D. <laughs> Oh, I remember seeing that in the cinema. It was amazing, but still, you know, such a sad moment. What a mighty ship. Look at the big rig that they had to make as well. All model. All model. No CG there. And then we have the on-screen appearances there as well. And again, Generations. Very good movie. Very good movie as well. Might actually watch that now since I'm reading this. I uh, might jump over to Netflix as they are on that. So, yeah. I think I might know what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the evening. And here we have a preview of what's coming up in issue 41, Klingon Raptor. Looking forward to this because the alien ships are generally really awesome in the collection. So I have high hopes and hopefully they shall be met. But let's end with the fantastic graphic here. And just a note to uh, Eagle Moss. Please, can we get the shuttles for the rest of the subscribers in different markets? I know that you're putting them in Germany, but come on. We want those four kick-ass shuttles, please. Please, 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 please. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> but uh, let's have a look at the model and uh, let's get on with this review. You're probably saying, shut up, Irish Trekkie. Just show me the model. And I will. Okay, folks, here we have the Enterprise B. Let's have a quick look at this. Well, let's, let's not have a quick look. Let's have a thorough, detailed examination of this model. While I knock everything else around me. So I have a lot of packaging on this one. Oops, just put that to one side. And just pop out the base. Here is our insignia on the bottom. And our very familiar Excelsior type mount. Anyway, here we go. First look, Enterprise B. So this is actually a fairly decent looking model from the get go. So let's just get right up close to it, just to have a decent look. Um, we have some interesting Azteking along the top of the saucer, going right down through the drive section and onto the pylons there as well. A nice bit of detail. B is a bit... I, would, I know it's quite a big scale, but the B looks a bit smudged. But again, US Enterprise coming through there fairly decent. Slight mismatch on the painting here along the top. Nothing to yell about there. It looks pretty decent on one side, but just not on the other side. Well, I suppose I can get around that with a bit of uh, creative displaying. Um, we do have plastic along the top of the nacelles here, I believe. Some slight separation here. Might have a look at that later on. That's no problem. No problem. Okay. And again, a lot of detail actually on the uh, ventral section of it as well. Again, we have a slight blur on the B, but decent, decent enough. Let's see if we can have a look at the saucer. It's just painted and there's no plastic, but it is quite small on that. Just trying to absorb as much as I can in here at the moment. Now, can I get focus on that? Starship. USS Enterprise, United Federation Planets. 
Does it actually say Starship, does it? I have to have a look at that in a little bit more detail. Um, this nacelle is much nicer. This looks like the nicer side uh, for me displaying it because we have a little bit of a paint mismatch here and that's all. that nacelle is slightly separated. Now there's no plastic components in the back here from what I can see across the uh, impulse drives and they're just painted on. Nice paint application on it actually, to be honest with you. Nice and vibrant. But such an iconic design. I love this. I, I, I lo always loved the Excelsior and then the refit of it for um, generations was just awesome. Just love that. You can definitely see the seam coming down here. It's a little bit bold, a bit more bold than I would like it to be. But not too bad. You can see the uh, housings there for the torpedoes. But yeah, I think, I think the essence of it's been captured quite well there. Uh, what do you think, guys, actually? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, just for those guys at home, girls and guys, metal part, plastic part. So saucer is metal, and the drive uh, section is the plastic component there. The pinstripe is pretty spot on uh, along the saucer and on the pylons there. And even along the drive section, just that kind of, um, would you call it duck egg blue? I think, I think it might be duck egg blue. Oh, and there we have another Enterprise insignia just on the underneath. If I can get it in focus. There we go. Um, couple of blemishes here and there. But I actually like it overall. I actually like it. Um, just trying to see if there's anything else I need to notice here. I suppose there's quite a lot of detailing along the top here. And again, that's quite crisp paint along the bridge section. Yeah, I do. I'm happy with that, actually. The decals don't go over any windows or anything like that, even though they're so super small. I just want to get a bit of a close-up on this myself, just to read that, just to be 100% sure. For my eyes, it's even very small. <laughs> I think. It, I think it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it. Uh, it actually there's no spelling errors or anything like that. I think it does say Starship Enterprise. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, we have our um, emitters, our RCS components. There clearly visible on the saucer section. Um, overall, very nice ship. Um, hope you guys like it as well. But that's going to stand nice and proud within the fleet. But it's nice to get another enterprise but i'm going to compare it against another ship that you might be familiar with just to give you a sense of design and heritage and scale as well to boot but stay tuned i'll be right oh actually one second i never look i never looked at these <laughs> um decals united federation planets bit no hang on they're, they're fine yeah it's curved i thought it was a bit wonky there yeah they're okay and actually the shuttle bay is slightly mispainted, but not crazy. Not Nothing too crazy there. But yeah, uh, let's compare it to another ship in the line and uh, go from there. Stay tuned. So here we have the Enterprise on her mount. Uh, really high riding uh, position on it. I find this uh, mount just a little bit opaque in comparison to some of the other uh, mounts that I have seen you can kind of see the kind of clouded nature of it but maybe that is just mine um, I haven't seen any other ones like this um, but I haven't been looking either but um, yeah she's in there secure two nice placeholders there on either side of the um, saucer section and um, yeah I'll probably I need to secure that a little bit more <laughs> I'll probably have her displayed on this kind of angle here just to kind of show the better side of the ship but um, yeah very nice just suspended in there on the mount and fairly secure but yeah there's a little bit of give on that i have to be a little bit more forceful and squeeze that down but let's compare to a ship in the line and hmm what will i compare her to i don't know here we go guys two excelsior class starships um slightly different detailing so you can see there in the um top of the saucer section especially in the extra components uh along the side here different nacelles obviously we have the drive section uh molding on the refit version as well um but yeah 
there's more subtle as teching on the Excelsior and the decaling on the Excelsior is a little bit crisper as well. But the two of them, you know, decent ships. Um, I think they could have been better, to be honest with you. I would have liked to have seen, you know, a uh, small uh, saucer um, deflector dish module in there. I know it'd be quite small, but I think it would be doable. And uh, just a little bit of higher um, manufacturing detail here. I don't really like seeing separations too much. But um, overall, I think the ship is decent. Um, it is pretty decent as well. And both of these ships are actually fairly decent. Um, if, let me just get them front on in just to kind of show you. So there we have a top-down view of uh, both of the ships side by side. Um, you can see what I'm talking about there on the deca the, like the registry and um, text on the ships. Slightly better uh, application on the Excelsior. And um, I think the paint application is slightly better on the Excelsior as well. There isn't as many flaws on my one anyway. Um, slight mismatching on some areas, but overall, I think they're fairly decent. But um, yeah, two fabulous ships, two very iconic ships in the line. And uh, let's do a face-on comparison. So there we have both of our ships face-on. You can definitely see the difference in the drive sections between them. But very nice overall. I'm happy with these ships. Very happy, very happy indeed. And again, nice to see another Enterprise in the mix as well, if it can actually focus. Very bright paint job, actually. It's catching the light hugely on these. And it's good to see the old Excelsior back on the channel after so long. That was quite early on in the release schedule. Um, so if you guys have it, you know, I think you will be enjoying that ship. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below of the Enterprise. And my fuzzy uh, recording. I do apologize about that. But um, yeah, decent ship. I'm very happy to see it. And uh, it's going to be nice in the display as well. Room for improvement, I will say that. But uh, overall, I'm happy with it. And I normally am happy with these ships. <laughs> I'm too. So I'm sometimes too nice on these reviews. But um, yeah, thanks for joining me. And don't forget to hit up Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to keep in the know. And part of the community as well. I do like chatting to you guys um, as much as I can. And uh, why not subscribe to not miss out on any up and coming reviews or gameplays that I do as well. And uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Take it easy. Bye-bye.